Hey guys, G Show here with Blindsided Sports covering the Buffalo Bills as always. Today we got to talk about two guys that everybody seems to forget about. Okay, we want to do a little bit of an injury update. Now, like I said, these are two guys that everybody forgot about last year. They went down with injuries, but before they went down, they were playing stout defense. Matt Milano, a second-year player, and Taron Johnson, a rookie, both intricate parts of our defense and playing very, very well as starters. Yet, Taron wasn't seeing the field quite as much being that slot quarter, but when he was out there, the only word I can use to describe him was an absolute bulldog. Our defense still went on to have a very, very successful year. But with these guys back and healthy next year, it's going to make a world of difference. Guys, Matt Milano, you look at his pro football focus numbers. He was a top 15, okay, above average linebacker in the NFL. This is his second year in the league. Okay, what was he? I think he was a fifth-round draft pick out of BC. That's massive output for a fifth-round pick, especially in the second year. He actually ended up breaking his fibula in week 14, which was Pretty bad. It was an ugly. It was an ugly injury. It's tough with the, these types of injuries because you never know how they're going to come back, how the ankle's going to hold up, you know. And Milano has that history with his hamstring, so he comes back too soon. You know, other parts of his body might not be ready. It, it's a risky thing. We want to make sure that Matt Milano is one hundred percent, and by all accounts, as of right now, he should be good to go by mini camp. Milano should be back next season. 100% fully healthy and take it his game to another level with another year under his belt. And let's not forget about Terry Johnson. He hurt his shoulder week two last year, okay, and he was playing through the pain until he went down for the year. They put him down for the year after the Bills were mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. Obviously, there's no point in keeping a young guy with so much potential out on the field playing through an injury, but he got hurt week two, and he still had a great rookie year. And he was a rookie drafted in the fourth round out of Weber State. Besides the fact that Taron Johnson and Matt Milano seemingly coming back at 100% this year, not only is it going to be massive because these two young guys um, coming back, playing as well as they did last year, if not better, taking their game to another level because that's what these young guys do, uh, especially being another year in this defensive system, another year under Leslie Frazier, another year of cohesiveness between the, the players on the team. Um, these guys were drafted late these last couple of years, the fourth and fifth round, and they turned into defensive studs. I mean, relatively speaking, in the Bills organization and their pro football focus numbers have been fantastic. So it's reasons to be excited about not only the young players that we have coming up, but Brandon Bean, Sean McDermott, the scouts that we have inside the building, their ability to find good talent late in the draft and this year, guys, we have multiple, multiple late-round picks. This is, this is all the way around. These guys, how well they've played and what it shows for being in the front office that the Bills have going on right now, very, very, very exciting. Look for Taron Johnson and Matt Milano to be 100% coming into training camp. You know, they might limit their role a little bit going into the preseason, maybe slow things down a little bit, but they're going to be out there. And by preseason, regular season time, these guys are going to be 100% ready to play. There's, It doesn't seem like there's any doubt about that. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Go Bills!